Our attention being focused on voter fraud here in the Valley. Again, early voting begins tomorrow. And a reminder, providing any false information on a voter application is a crime. As Channel 5's Michael Scott tells us, some arrests have already been made. Tonight, the Star County District Attorney's Office is examining the county voter rolls. They're looking for people voting illegally. So far, three people are charged with some kind of voter fraud. The DA's concerns include mail-in ballot application fraud, unlawful influencing of voters, and illegal voting by non-residents and non-citizens. It's almost an invitation for fraud because then you've got, let's say you've got 500 to 1,000 ballots floating around. And, a, you know, a, a, a race, a local race can be decided by, you know, a couple of votes. There's an incentive to do what it takes to get those mail-in ballots. Omar Escobar reached out to the Texas Attorney General's office with his findings and asked for assistance. The Attorney General's office responded in a letter saying, in part, we stand ready to assist you in whatever way we are able in your efforts to eliminate fraudulent voting. He reached out to the Attorney General asking if his office was involved in any current voter fraud investigations in the Valley. The response, no comment. We also reached out to the Hidalgo County District Attorney's Office asking about any ongoing voter fraud investigations. They had no comment. Willis County says they have no ongoing investigations. The voter has the ultimate responsibility to assure that the information given to us is correct. Hidalgo County Elections Administrator Yvonne Ramon says no matter who asked you to vote illegally, bottom line, you the voter will get in trouble if caught. The information on your voter registration database is signified by your home, your residence, where you live, where your home, home is. And so the information given to us by the voter and their signature is actually an affidavit. That affidavit is on all Texas voter registration applications. It says, I understand that giving false information to procure a voter registration is perjury and a crime under state and federal law. The moment now that you're trying to change your address, you're making that representation that I live, you know, or that the voter lives at this other address, and, and that's, you know, that's a problem. I think at the end of the, under those circumstances, the voter is going to have to be held responsible also. Escobar adds it will be up to a jury to decide whether the voter is telling the truth or whether they acted in good faith. The Star County District Attorney says more arrests are possible in the county's voter fraud cases. Charges for voting illegally vary depending on how the crime was committed. The punishment can range from a Class A misdemeanor to a state jail felony. In the studio, Michael Scott, Channel 5 News at 6. And voting fraud should be reported to the Texas Secretary of State. The number on your screen, 1-800-252-8683. Michael's story and this information will be posted on our website, krgv.com, after the newscast.